today's video, I will be talking about the things you need to know about the 5K and 7K Toyota engines. Firstly, the 5K and 7K engines are similar in architecture to the 3K and 4K engines from the same K series family of engines. They all feature an overhead valve actuation for the valve drain, except for the 3KR, which was a race only version of the 3K engine that had a double overhead cam system for its valve actuation. Moving on, the 5K and 7K engines come with either solid or hydraulic lifters. Although hydraulic lifters may reduce the valve train noise and relinquish the need for periodic valve adjustments, but they are not suited for high RPM operation like the solid lifters do. Secondly, if you are only wanting your 5K or 7K engine for street duties, then hydraulic lifters would be the way to go, provided that you're doing your oil changes in time so that they won't get prematurely worn. Now, I would also like to mention that these engines have a flaw with the original crankshaft that won't allow you to rev the engine to 8000 RPM due to harmful harmonics produced at that engine speed and beyond. To remedy this, a complete forged crankshaft is the way to go, although costly but will allow you to rev the engine safely to about 9,500 RPM. Although this is only applicable if you would want to build a race engine, but all things considered, the stock engine is plenty good enough for the daily commute. Now let's get on to some specifications. Firstly, the 5K engine. This engine has a bore and stroke of 80.5 millimeters and 73 millimeters respectively, and it produces 75 horsepower stock. The 5K engine shares the same stroke dimensions as the 4K engine, but the 5K has a bigger displacement. This was due to the 5K having a bigger bore, making it a 1.5 liter rather than a 1.3, which was the 4K. Now moving on to the 7K engine. This engine has a displacement of 1.8 liters due to a larger stroke of 87.5 millimeters, but shares the same bore as the 5K engine. The extra displacement allowed the 7K to produce 80 horsepower at 4600 RPM and 139 newton meters of torque at 2800 RPM. There was also an EFI variant that produced 4 horsepower more and 8 newton meters more, but this was due to the better control electronic fuel injection offers. It is also important to note that the 7K is the least rev happy of all the K engines due to the large stroke limiting the safe amount of revs logically possible due to the material strength concerns and elevated piston speeds as well as the added thrust loading on the bores that the larger stroke allows due to its mechanical configuration. Personally, if I were to build another higher performance K-series engine in the future, I would choose the 4K and 5K as there are still aftermarket parts available to build them up to be more powerful and reliable at that. And these engines are hard to come by nowadays as they are no longer made. So personally, a fun engine build is the way to go for me as building them to the absolute limit would deem too costly and a spare block isn't easy to come by in the event I stuff it up. That concludes our video for today and I'd, if you liked the video, do like, share and subscribe for more. Have a good one!